This is my first look at the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Edge, and I actually had a chance to sit down with the product manager that helped bring this creation to life and talking through the decisions that led them to the final chassis design, components, and internals that lead to this incredible machine. Now, first and foremost, I wanted to take a look at the chassis design, and they have this almost thin or fan design, and the speakers actually come out right here on the bottom of the laptop, making it so the sound doesn't get pushed down into the desk, but creates a really nice immersive experience around you. The product manager from Samsung, Rafael, really summed it up nicely. We utilize the chassis as best as possible. Um, so you can see here, these two black stripes are actually our speakers. And rather than facing down where you might lose the sound or the sound might get distorted, they're actually kind of facing this angle. Um, so it allows you to get a more um, rich experience when listening to um, content, music, uh, sound, whatever it might be. Now taking a look at the ports, we have everything we need for a great on-the-go creator machine. Micro SD card reader to expand your storage, USB type A and a headphone jack, as well as two USB type C's and HDMI on the other side as well. Now this thing is so thin and light at just over three pounds. It is so incredible how thin and light this is. So I'm here with Raphael. He is the product manager for the new Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Edge. And I wanted to know what was the process leading up to the final product of Edge that makes it great for creative professionals and really has the performance that we need while also getting things like great battery life, keeping the temperatures cool, and having great features that fit into our daily needs. Samsung has got a, a long history with Qualcomm. Uh, we've, we've been working with them obviously across a, a number of different products, uh, phones, tablets, and PCs. Um, and we've always looked at uh, our relationship with Qualcomm from PCs as a um, an ultra mobile, thin and light uh, product. Uh, the challenge historically has been that it's 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 come short in terms of that performance need, especially for the really creative, uh, focused uh, users. Uh, when Qualcomm announced that they had um, acquired this company Nuvia and they were looking to build a completely new chipset, we were really excited um, because that was for us at least uh, the first sign of sight to really bridge that performance gap while maintaining that thin and light form factor that we've been known for. And, and that's really within Samsung's heritage. We've been producing devices that have uh, kept to a, a design that is uh, very thin, very light, uh, very premium, uh, without sacrificing other features like uh, performance, uh, like battery life and uh, display. Yeah. So with the Galaxy Book 4 Edge specifically, um, we're one of the first to introduce the highest end Snapdragon processor the X1E-84, which is going to deliver amazing power for all sorts of use cases, including uh, creative professionals. Um, we've also designed it with a large vapor chamber uh, to ensure that it stays cool during really uh, intense usage, but also allows us to keep that form factor really, really thin. You guys are focusing on not doing so much thermal throttling with the actual components Correct. in order to keep that performance yeah, up. Yeah, we, we did not want to throttle this performance, especially bringing in this such, such a high-end uh, chipset. We yeah. want to make sure that as a user needs to and be able to use it to its full potential. The thermal management is handled by two fans and a vapor chamber in the middle, with the air being pushed out of this vent here. Now going ahead and taking a look at the inside of the chassis, you can see it's very reminiscent of the Galaxy Book for Pro 360. Really nice big large OLED display, really sharp. Uh, we'll get more and more details during my full review. And then you see the keyboard layout is very similar. Numpad on the right side, full size keyboard. The one of the uh, reps here was saying it has a very nice bouncy feel, and I definitely agree. It has a nice bounce and kickback, nice snappy response for the keys. And then of course we have the nice large trackpad, which feels really great, nicely secured to the chassis, but it's just crazy, it's so razor thin the uh, chassis design. And this is the 16 inch model. I also hope to be able to review the 14 inch model back in my studio and do benchmark tests. I'm not allowed to benchmark this laptop yet because they have yet to fully release. Once they fully release on sale, I will be able to run the benchmarks and get that review out for y'all. Not sure if you know this, but if you pre-order right now on certain retailers, specifically Best Buy, they will throw in a free 50 inch Samsung TV. No joke. You can get a free 50 inch Samsung TV when you pre-order the Galaxy Book 4 Edge. It's absolutely ridiculous. So go ahead and if you want, check the live pricing in the description below or make a purchase. If you do, I'll get a small commission but at no extra cost to you. One of the great features is that all of the devices are connected together and you can even operate your tab while using your computer. So this isn't just now a second screen, it's actually in tab mode. So it's in its original format. It's not like it's switched over to be only a screen. So one thing I'm gonna show you is you can go to the camera and I can quickly take a picture 
just of whatever that is. I can click into here. Uh, I'll go back and I'm going to go to gallery. Okay, there's my gallery. And now I can literally, oh no, I need to use my mouse. So I can literally now take this image and just drag it over onto my desktop. And right there, it's transferred. So think about this from a creative professional standpoint. If you're a digital artist, a graphic designer, you could be sketching in your tab mode. If you specifically like a mobile drawing application instead of a desktop drawing application, you can utilize that in your tab and then immediately just drag it over on your computer. So the, um, the ecosystem here is top notch. It's, it's a level above ecosystems we have seen before because all of your devices are working together. You can use QuickShare to easily send files between devices. You can go ahead and type or talk into the device to send text messages with how you'd like them to be sent. Okay, so a literally cool thing, instead of me having to be distracted, come over here, type out a message, send it to somebody. I can literally just go into the Microsoft Copilot. Hey, can you please send a message to Sam to order me a burger medium well politely. Sure, I can help you with that. You can confirm sending the message. Hi, Sam. Could you please order a burger for me? I would like it medium well. Thank you. Bam. And there it is. It's interpreting and understanding the context, and so you can stay focused into your workflow. You don't have to be distracted by all the unconnected devices. If you're on the Samsung ecosystem, everything's connected together. Like I said, there's two ways to operate the screen extension. You can use it in its original tablet format, or it can become a second screen. And when it becomes a second screen, then you're utilizing the performance of the system, the Snapdragon chip. So if I'm editing 6K video, I'm getting full battery life, having a secondary screen, but utilizing all of the performance in the device rather than having this in tablet mode, not being able to you know, share the screen and not being able to have that full performance. So, oh my word, it just works all together so seamlessly. This is something that coming here has really opened my eyes up to. What I'm really excited about the Book 4 Edge is not just the laptop by itself, but the entire ecosystem, something that I've never dived into on my channel. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know that I've never reviewed a phone, but that's going to change soon because the ecosystem is something that's truly putting us in a way of efficiency. And I care a lot about efficiency. I have different tech projects I'm working on, businesses I'm running. I help homeschool my children and teach them woodworking and sports. And so all of these things are taking time. And so I want my work to be more efficient. And the Samsung ecosystem is showing me the opportunities are abundant. And I wanna dive deeper and show y'all how to get more out of the Samsung ecosystem over the following months. So definitely stay tuned to the channel for that, as well as the full dedicated review with benchmarks of the Galaxy Book 4 Edge. Remember, links in the description below. If you wanna click that, pre-order, get that free 50-inch Samsung TV, or check the live pricing, see if it's the right deal for you. Otherwise, I'll see y'all in the next video.